Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabanis. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And I always see them. And today we're going to be talking about them damn Lakers again. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video, sub to the channel, hit all notifications so you don't miss any of our content. Anyway, let's let's get into this topic here. Let's get into this topic here. I've been saying for the past few months now that the Lakers aren't serious. The Lakers are as as serious as about winning as Ben Simmons is as serious about playing basketball. That's how serious the Lakers. The Lakers are not serious. The Lakers are all about the headlines and the drama and making money and very and they have very little interest in actually winning ball games. Had they did they, had they had any serious interest, they would have hired a more qualified coach than JJ Reddick. But they decided not to do that. Then on top of that, they decided to turn themselves into a clown show by drafting Bronny James, which they knew was going to bring them a lot of clicks and headlines, especially when him and LeBron play together and they're going to be making getting jersey sales and all of that. We all knew that they were a joke. But what, we, what we've what been waiting for is for NBA players to come out here and say the same thing. And it seems like one of the most demonstrative players, especially when he was playing in the NBA, DeMarcus Cousins came to the conclusion at the moment the Lakers decided to draft Bronny James, he knew that the Lakers organization were absolutely not serious about winning uh, championships anymore. For those of you who didn't hear what DeMarcus Cousins had to say about the state of affairs with the Lakers, I want to play exactly what he had to say for you now, and then we're going to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to DeMarcus Cousins here. I don't really think the Lakers are serious anymore. Um, mm. You know... <clears throat> I love I love everything that it stands for. I, I think, you know, what Brian is doing with his legacy and just, you know, as a businessman and everything that comes with it, I think I think it's a beautiful thing. I think it's really, really dope. But as far as the Lakers actually competing, um, I don't know. I, I take that as a sign as they, they aren't really serious. Um, you know, with the way their season ended last year with the high expectations, uh, mm. I expected more more from them as far as making moves. I do. I do like the kid from Tennessee that they drafted. Uh, I think he could, you know, be a, a, a instant impact player for them. Um, but they had a lot of concerns last year that I don't think really were addressed. And, um, you know, I, I didn't really see those moves being made in the offseason as well. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's TBD in my opinion. So you heard what he had to say. Now, of course, we already know what the LeBron fans are going to say. Oh, he, he, who is this scrub? Who is this scrub? I'm going to tell y'all who this scrub is, Okay. DeMarcus Cousins, when he was healthy, let me give you some of his numbers during seasons where he was healthy with the Sacramento Kings. One year, he averaged 22 points, 11.7 re 11 rebounds, 2.9 assists, 1.5 steals a game on 76% shooting from the free throw line, 49% shooting from the field, 32% from the three, from, from, uh, uh, excuse me, 49% uh, from the field and uh, while playing 32 minutes a game. That's one year. The next year, 24 a game, 12.7 rebounds, 3.6 assists, 1. Point, uh, what is it? 1.6 steals as a center. 1.5 steals as a center, 1.8 blocks per game while shooting 78% from the free throw line and 46% from the field. The next year, 27 points a game with 1.4 blocks per game, 1.6 steals as a center, 3.3 assists, 11 rebounds a game on 45% shooting. The next year, 27 and 27.8 points per game 1.3 blocks 1.4 steals uh, 4.8 assists 12 rebounds a game and the numbers go on and another year 25 where he averaged 13 rebounds 5.4 assists 1.6 steals per game 1.6 blocks per game the one thing y'all can call demarcus cousins is everything but you can't call him a bum those are like lebron numbers minus the assists let's get into his actual accomplishments in the NBA when he was healthy, because we all knew how much of a beast DeMarcus Cousin was. All he all he did was make four all-star teams, two all-NBA teams, the rookie, uh, what is it, and the NBA all-rookie first team. And had he remained healthy, he would have made way more all-star teams. The only thing that stopped DeMarcus Cousins from actually continuing to, 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 to blossom as an NBA player was his his body. He just He just broke down. But DeMarcus Cousins was a hell of a basketball player. So we can throw out, oh, he's a nobody and all of that stuff like, like they like to do with other people. He's actually, he was actually a beast. And on most nights, he was on some beast mode stuff. And he was nasty with it when he played. So that's the first thing. 
DeMarcus Cousins is overqualified to evaluate basketball. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing, let's get to his biggest point, which is the Lakers aren't serious. The Lakers aren't serious. And oh, by the way, I also want to throw it in. He also believes that LeBron James is the GOAT. Because I know LeBron fans, oh, yeah, LeBron, LeBron, he's LeBron, let me open this up and rub it on my chest. He's a LeBron. Yeah, that's the hunt. No, 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 no. He probably, he probably bought a bucket of honey as well at some point in time. He's a LeBron guy. So y'all get to throw that right in the garbage. He supports LeBron. But even him, at this moment in time, has to keep it real. Like, yo, son, this, this, this they're a joke. They're a joke. And the people promoting them are even bigger jokes. Bronny had a block. They're going to plaster it all over the internet. And you know who's for it? All for it? The Lakers. Listen to their head coach. Yeah, Bronny, you know, he earned a spot. And I don't give a, and I don't give a F what anybody else thinks. He earned a spot. And he 100% earned a spot. Let's listen to Rich Paul. This is all about winning. All Bronny wanted to do was hear his name get called. Uh, and by the way, if you think of drafting Bronny, he's going to another country. Now back to my original uh, schedule program. First they said it didn't matter where he wanted to go. Then all of a sudden it was like, Every team stay away from him. We're like, but, but that, but that's not what you said. Shut up! You're doing a little bit too much, too much thinking. Don't you know my supporters? They don't think. They just follow. They just rub honey and twerk it all, twerk it up all over the table, and knock over people's drinks, running through the hallways, hollering and screaming, busting through doors, just basically acting a damn, a, a damn fool for some damn LeBron James. This is what they do. The Lakers are a clown show. A clown show. And I think that the Lakers are going to are they're going to be must-see TV for this entire NBA season. And I'm going to be all here for it. For a bunch of reasons. First of all, let's evaluate the Lakers from a macro standpoint. The Lakers are supposed to be synonymous with winning. But nevertheless, they went out and hired a coach that had zero coaching experience. They then kept virtually the same roster, added Dalton Connect, who's a good player, but then they added Bronny James at the 55th pick, and then they got a player that looks like he could do something in Quincy Oliver, who they most, uh, Olivari, who they most likely will let go of because he is not going to be able to make any history with their main man. So he's out of there. They're like, but Laker fans, but like, but he, he, he looks like he can, he can, he can actually support the team and actually give us some production. Like, yeah, but that's not, that's not part of the agenda, folks. That's not part of the agenda, so he's not going to make the roster, okay? The Lakers are going to be a joke this season. And I think that they need to be treated as such. They're not serious. They are not serious. Let me ask y'all a question. Let's conduct a thought experiment here for a moment. Let's replace LeBron, LeBron and say if it was Kobe. And let's say Kobe had a son that that wasn't fully developed do you do y'all honestly think kobe bryant would have fought to get his son on the lakers knowing damn well he ain't ready just so he could have the opportunity to say that i play with him do you honestly believe kobe would, kobe would never do that do you know why because i've heard kobe talk about second place prizes and how he despises it and all of that kobe wasn't interested in any of that he was not but this is what the Lakers have become. And you know what gets me in all of this? Jeannie Buss just seems to be all for it. She's like, why not? Don't you love it? I love it. We're a clown show. Bring your hats and your big shoes. She loves it. I cannot believe how tone deaf the Lakers are. I just can't believe it. Just the other day, they were talking about, uh, I think they were trying to evaluate Bronny's performance on ESPN. And they were like, yeah, but he didn't shoot really well. And they were like, but, but we're not talking about his production. We're, we're talking about the moment. Did you see the moment when LeBron walked next to him and then he looked? What a moment. And he's like, yeah, but he scored zero. Yeah, but, th but that's not what we're talking about. And that's not what the Lakers are about. They're all about the headlines. So, folks, yes. DeMarcus Cousins is 100% correct. They're not serious. And if any of you believe that the Lakers are serious, you're going to be in for a very long season, folks. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about what DeMarcus Cousins had to say? What do you think about our analysis? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.